Good morning, girls. I hope you guys had a fabulous long weekend. We all needed it. I agree. <laughs> but I'm ready to get back to work and get back into learning about weather. And even more specifically, I want to learn more about windy weather because the wind is pretty cool. A lot of kids don't know what wind is. And they say things like, well, wind is weather. Wind is hot or cold. Wind is the leaves moving. But what is wind? Like, what really is it? Because it's not something that we can actually see. We can see what wind does. Wind moves leaves. Wind moves flags. Wind moves hair when you're outside. But we can't actually see it. We can only see the effects of it. So what is wind? Any ideas? Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, really close. All right, so I heard a few things. And you know, when I take all of those things I heard, you know what it comes down to? Is that wind is air that's moving. Say, wind is moving air. Wind is moving air. Oh, wind is moving air. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wind is moving air. Yes, wind is moving air. And you can't see air. Right now, the air in my room here, totally still. My hair is not blowing anywhere, right? The flag over in the, over in the corner, not moving, not moving at all, okay? And this wind sock right here, look. It's only moving because my arm can't stay very still. But it's not, now I can make air. How, how, how can I make air right now? How can I make the air move right now where I am? Any ideas? <laughs> I can make air move. Any other way I can make air move? Yeah, I can fan it, right? I can use a flat object or watch. I can definitely move air and you can too. This is called a windsock. And scientists use wind socks to determine the direction the wind is coming from, okay? So a lot of times when wind comes from the word the north, say the north, a lot of times that air, that wind, that moving air is very cold because in the northern parts of our world, the air is cold, okay? And then scientists can determine, hmm, this wind is coming from the south. In the southern parts of our world, the air is quite warm. So that helps meteorologists, people who study weather, meteorologists, determine what kind of day we're going to have, depending on where the moving air the wind is coming from. Lately, we've been getting a lot of wind from the north, and that's why it's been getting colder, okay? So we're gonna make wind socks today, and they're super easy to make, and you just need some simple materials from your house to make one, all right? So the first thing that you're gonna need is a piece of sturdy paper. Does not have to be construction paper. If your adult in your house has cardstock, use cardstock. Or even the front of a cereal box is perfect for this. But you don't want to use like notebook paper or even computer paper can be a little too um, brittle and not and fragile for, for something that we're going to do experimenting in the wind. So I just have a piece of construction paper. If you need to pause this video to go find a nice sturdy piece of paper, go right ahead. Or you can wait a second until I tell you all the materials that you need and then you can go. It's up to you. But 
So you're going to need a sturdy piece of paper, and all you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. Like this. So you're just going to match corner for corner, pinch, and then fold it in half. That makes it twice as sturdy. Okay? Another thing that you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Okay? You're going to need a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, don't worry. Just have your adult help you, when it becomes that time, poke some holes into your paper with a sharp object like a pencil or something else that you have sharp that you can poke a few holes into the paper with. No big deal. Okay? You're going to need a glue stick. Okay, you should have all gotten a glue stick and some tape. Okay, scotch tape or whatever kind of tape you have in the, around. And then you're also going to need some string or some yarn for the handles. Okay, so it's pretty simple and I'm going to put a picture of the instructions um, next to my video here. Uh, so you can click on it and make it bigger. But really all you're going to need to do is you're going to take this piece of paper, okay, and you're going to poke some holes into it with a hole punch or your adult can poke about four holes evenly spaced apart, doesn't matter, maybe five holes, okay, doesn't matter, evenly spaced apart along the edge of your uh, folded paper. Then... Oh, I forgot to tell you a part, the most important part, the streamers. Now, there's a number of things that you can use for these streamers, okay? This is tissue paper, so lots of times um, you might have some tissue paper hanging around from a birthday. Just cut it into strips. That's all you got to do is cut it into about one inch thick strips. Very easy. If you don't have tissue paper, maybe some streamers left over from a birthday party. Those are usually about two inches wide, so you might want to cut them in half. You're going to need about eight strips of some sort of a light paper. You can even use paper towel or toilet paper. I've even had to use toilet paper before, especially if you have like a one-ply, even a two-ply. All you can do is cut it into strips, okay? So there's many different things that you can use, so I sh you shouldn't have any problem finding something that you can use to um, make your streamers. And you need about eight to 10 strips, okay? This one actually only has five, but these little ones, these ones actually came out a little bit smaller than they were supposed to. 